In this presentation, we're looking at landing pages. And with landing pages, I don't have much time. I need to get these out very quickly and making sure that the right people can edit the page and I can make sure that I can measure the performance of the page using my favorite analytic tool. So I'm going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver that you can see here together with the Adobe Experience Management Solution and Adobe Site Catalyst. So let's dive straight in. I have my page here and um, this is a real page with code. I'm not going to worry about the code for now, um, but just to know it's a normal um, page designed in Dreamweaver. And to get this live, I'm going to hop straight in into Adobe CQ5 and I happen to be in the landing pages section at, under campaigns and I want to create a new canvas for my promotion. So my promotion is a winter promotion, so let's just call it winter promo and click on OK and double click the winter promo now to open it up and what we have is a place where I can drag and drop my um, new design. So it's asking for a zip file, so let's give it that, let's just bring CQ up to the side. Um, within Dreamweaver I have a whole bunch of files, so let me um, just actually go to the desktop here. I can actually quit out of Dreamweaver, don't need that anymore. Double click on the folder and here are all those HTML files that um, you just saw that I had open. So let me grab these files and compress them. So now I have a zip file and I can just simply drag and drop that zip file onto CQ and CQ will now look at that content and expand it out. So what it's done here is it's actually brought in all of the design, all of the functionality into the page, but actually turned it into edible components. We'll talk about that in a moment, but remember, I'm on a tight time frame. I need to push this out live. So we'll go into page properties and we'll just make a few things um, happen. So for instance, we'll give it a vanity URL. So we'll just call this, um, you know, winter. Uh, so any, anyone who hits my site and goes to winter will get that. And let's make one more change in page properties. Let's add analytics. And we want to make sure that we can add a link to Site Catalyst. So I'm just going to scroll down here, out of the box integration with Adobe Site Catalyst. Simply select that, select my configuration. And if you're wondering what I mean by configuration, over here in the background, this is the setup that a an analyst has actually prepared. So someone who actually understands Site Catalyst has set all these um, environments up for me. I don't have to worry about that. Remember, I'm trying to launch my page really quickly. So I just simply come in and select that setting and click on OK and bang, I've got my site in a content management environment so I can edit it later and it's already tagged for analytics. So all the data that I capture is going to flow into my predefined reports. So finally, let's just go over here, start a workflow and request it to be activated. And within the next minute, my page will be fully up and running live and I can start to uh, get some benefit from the page. Fantastic. So now that we've got that live, let's think about the way that we typically use our content management system and that is to make changes to pages. So for instance, on the page here, you'll notice that when I dragged and dropped it in before, CQ actually looked at the environment, looked at each particular component on the page and converted it into CQ components. So for instance, if I'm a content editor and I want to make a change, I can simply go and highlight the text and make that change as you can see on the screen now. Um, if I'm in marketing, of course, I may want to add some emphasis. So let's add some exclamation points um, there so we really know it's on sale. And at any point, if I want to change the price, you can see that I can um, just go in here. I might just double click on this one here and change the price by, let's make it around $100. Fantastic. Again, if I need to push that out, it's just a matter of going and starting the workflow and requesting that change again. But because it's already live, it's already tagged with analytical data, I don't have to worry about those things every single time. So the rate of change that I can actually go and make some changes here um, is very quick. So for instance, what happens if the, the actual goggles sell out here, the orange ones? Um, well, maybe we've got stock of the blue ones. So let's actually go and drag and drop an image here out of my asset library. Uh, replace that with the um, with the orange um, sorry replace the orange one with the blue one now and say um, blue is now on sale again go in here start the workflow and push that live and I've made those changes so you can see just by that simple example we can go from our rich design starting you in the Adobe tools that you all know into a content management environment um, here that you can see it's Adobe CQ5 and also link in with our favorite analytical tools like Adobe Site Catalyst, all done in a matter of minutes.